As Jean Vanier described his journey of healing and inner liberation, it echoed the journey of a psychotherapist with her client. John Vanier suggested that the journey of healing is an evolving reality. We're born in a state of vulnerability, but we soon begin to protect our vulnerability because of the conditions of our life that we experience as wounding. We move toward healing as we begin to experience transformative moments in terms of relationship and community. This helps us to relax our defenses so that we can accept our vulnerability once again. Jean Vanier suggested that God is a vulnerable God, and that makes our vulnerability a prized possession. I was really struck when Jean Vanier spoke about his friend that's a psychiatrist, and he asked him what his definition of maturity was, and he said tenderness. When I think of my greatest moments of tenderness, they are always involving um, the beginning of life or, or the end of life. And like it takes a great deal of uh, maturity, tenderness to uh, take care of a baby. And it takes so much delicacy and tenderness to take care of the ill and the dying. It made me realize that as a therapist or a healer, that you always have to be in a tenderness process. You have to be uh, vulnerable. You have to be naked as Jean Vanier spoke. Um, and you have to keep yourself in that process all the time. And I think that that's where the term wounded healer comes from. And that's what I hope at our training program and in our school that we invite our students to get in touch with. When I was listening to Jean Vanier talk last night about liberty or freedom and belonging and about the balance between those two, I realized he's really a philosopher of community, like very few people are. And it reminded me of why it was that I thought of him when I was writing a book about 10 years ago about cultural trance and about the trance that our culture holds us in uh, and gives us ways of thinking about things that we don't reflect on and how we need people who can break that trance. I call them trance breakers and I chose three people as examples of trance breakers. One was uh, Martin Luther King. The other was, believe it or not, Dame Edna, who was Barry Humphreys, a, a uh, comedian. And the other was Jean Vanier, because I thought that he really had the sense of both the need for a community or a culture, which is the broad community, and the need for freedom. And he also had the sense that in our culture, there are lots of ways that we see people and situations that are different from us that we don't really accept. We have reactions to them that are not good for the community as a whole. So I thought he was a tremendous example of a trance breaker, someone who accepts the fact that we need culture and we need community. We need a place to belong. We need a way of looking at things that has been tried and true over the years, over the ages. But we also need people who can question those things. And clearly, Jean Vanier is a person who can question things that need to be questioned, particularly in regard to how we look at people who are different from us, how we look at situations that are unfamiliar to us, how we look at practices that we have not seen before, and how we need to be open to those experiences. He's a real philosopher of community and that's one of the things that struck me all through his talk. So last night I had the privilege and the honor of spending two hours with Mr. Jean Vanier, an extraordinary man. Being that I'm a psychotherapist, a lot of my life is based on experientiality. So for me to be able to sit with this man for two hours was quite an extraordinary experience. I was very moved by his uh, reflectivity, the way he, he thought so thoughtfully about everything that he said. And when he spoke, he spoke with love and with expression and with compassion. 
the word that stood out most for me was the word precious. I work every day with many people who bring to me their weakness and their vulnerability. And what he did for me was he concretized the importance of seeing every individual that I spend time with as precious, each one of these precious individuals. And I get a sense from listening to him last night that he has spent hundreds, maybe thousands of hours with people who are so vulnerable and so weak and he held them equally, each as a precious, precious individual living in extraordinary circumstances which I will probably never get to see. He spoke with such passion and with such knowing and with such caring. I was moved by the experience of spending that time with Jean Vanier last night and he inspired me to think about the fact that what I do is so important because I help to become, I help people to become more conscious and more aware, which means that I help people to connect more and more with their humanness. And as more and more people connect with their humanness, there will be more and more people who will go out and do the work of Jean Vanier that will find their way to find people precious.